Hi guys, I've got a video here for you just showing you a service called Smart DNS Proxy which is basically an alternative to a VPN service. It doesn't work exactly the same way but it's recommended by me for watching Geolock content. There's a list here of some of the services that it can enable for you. It's very handy for a lot of guys in the UK who, for instance, NBC, um, Showtime, AMC, that all have their own apps and accounts. If you enable this on your device and, sa and sign up for an account with them, then you're going to be able to watch it. Whereas if, if you just signed up without a smart DNS proxy or even a VPN, it'd block you because you're in the wrong um, country on your connection so you need to sign up here at smartdnsproxy.com they've got a 14 day free trial on at the minute and I think after that it works out at maybe 3 quid a month something like that it, it works out cheaper if you buy a couple year long services I think it works out maybe £25 something for two years. I'm not entirely sure. Now, when you sign up, you get this page here. And as you can see, DNS setup. You just want to click this setup button here and it'll take you to this page. Now, I'm going to show you how to set it up on OpenELEC. So... You're going to click this here and press set up. It'll then take you to this page. And step four here, these are the two IP addresses that you will be changing on your OpenELEC config. So what you want to take note of them or have your computer handy and I'll just run over to the TV now and I'll show you exactly where you want to change them. Right guys, the next step is to go to your OpenELEC setup and you want to go all the way to your settings but you want OpenELEC settings. Not your, not your XBMC settings but OpenELEC settings. And you should be seeing this the next thing you want to do is you want to go to connections now i'm using a wired connection so you want to select your connection as you can see on the right hand side it's the one with the star on and you want to select edit now you'll see along the left connection ipv4 IPv6 and then DNS servers. This is what you want to change. Now, in your first box, you want to put the first IP address that you've seen and took note of. So, in my case, that's fifty-four. Two two nine one seven one two four three. And then you want to hit done, and you'll see it change there. Next, you want to change name server two, and in my case, that's fifty four. One eight three fifteen ten. And you once you've done that, you just want to go down and press save. That's all that's all you have to do. So <coughs> now you're up and running with that. 
you can test out an add-on that you wouldn't normally get access to for instance NBC Sports Live Extra so I'm gonna hit OK on that now hit live and upcoming and it should load up live channels and fixtures there we go so the ones highlighted in blue are what's live right now these are all fixtures ready to be shown so we'll go to the top and I'll just show you that it is working we'll put the golf channel on And there we have it loaded playing no no drop in connection speed whereas when I've used a VPN on previous devices Android devices there's been a lot of buffering a lot of stuttering a hell of a lot of a speed drop on my connection when I'm using other devices but with Smart DNS Proxy, I've had none of that. You'll find all your um, Premier League football on this add-on. And there's plenty of other add-ons, I believe, that you can use this with, such as um, Pandora, Pandora Radio, which isn't available to people in the UK. Um, there's, there is other ones as well that I'll leave in the description below if you want to test them out and that that's it thanks for watching